Hello! How are you guys doing today? I missed you so much. You guys, I have been having like technical difficulties and yesterday I was so upset because I filmed a whole D show seafood boil and when I stopped the recording to start the second part because my camera only filmed for like 25 minutes at a time, when I stopped it to start it again, everything was fine. But then when I put it in my computer, like it was gone. And I'm like, where's the first part of the video? So if you guys want to see that, I'll, I'll put that behind this video. It was a D shell boil and of course the best part is in the beginning you guys so i was really upset about that but i'm in good spirits it is what it is i can't sweat the small stuff well that's really not small but i gotta you know it is what it is you just have to keep on moving and yeah so i have king crabs again and this time i'm gonna be cracking them i haven't done that in a while i have some in um indomie noodles you guys know that those are my favorite i haven't had these in months we have some hard boiled eggs in the front. Uh, this sauce is my Jack Daniels butter sauce. You guys, I, I needed a little drink. I needed a little drink because I was just like really irritated. But um, and uh, so yeah, I wanted to make some Jack Daniels. It's in the sauce. Um, for water to drink, I have my coldest water bottle here. If you guys are interested in grabbing your own coldest water bottle, the link will be in the description box for you guys today um and yeah you guys i'm ready to dig in i think i'm gonna take my first bite of um you know what no i'm gonna go with the eggs and i'm gonna eat the sauce with it oh my god you guys look at that look how good this looks and y'all should have saw the video yesterday i was so there we go Woo wee. have y'all ever had have y'all ever had that Jack Daniels sauce from Fridays? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, you guys, it tastes just like it. Mm, 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 mm. I can't even wait. I can't even wait. I was going to try the noodles first. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Oh my God, y'all. If you like that Jack Daniel sauce from Fridays, whew, mm, you have got to try this sauce. This is, it tastes almost identical to it. Oh my God. Mmm. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. I'm not kidding you guys, this is so good. Mm. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I hope y'all are doing amazing. I'm doing really good. Yesterday I was telling you guys that my sister had her baby and how excited I am. I gave y'all a whole story. I'm gonna see, I haven't edited it yet because I was so upset, but I'm gonna see what part is in there. I think I did the part, I think y'all will hear me talking about it in the second part. But yeah, she had her baby, baby Cameron is here she's so cute she looks just like kennedy it's like they're twins mm. 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 I'm gonna eat this last piece and I'm gonna go to the noodles. Mm, 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 mm. You guys have got to try the sauce. I'm not kidding. It is so good. It tastes very, very almost spot on. Almost spot on to the Jack Daniel sauce at Friday. But of course, it's a butter sauce. Mm hmm. Mm. The lipstick I'm wearing Did y'all always ask me about this lipstick? It's from e.l.f. One dollar Yeah, it was one dollar Honey, one dollar lipstick called Red Velvet by Elf, <clears throat> and it looks so pretty. You would never know that it's one dollar. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, it's so good. I'm not kidding. It is so delicious. Mm. Don't be talking about how I eat with chopsticks. I know I'm not the best. Mm. I do what I can. Y'all, this is so good. This don't make no sense how good this is. Mm. If you like that Jack Daniel sauce from Fridays, this is like the butter version of it. I didn't I didn't even look up their recipe. I just put the Jack Daniel sauce in it. And I put my own seasons to it. Mm. 
It's so good. Oh my God, I don't even normally drink. I don't drink whiskey. But that whiskey goes so well. So well with food, so well. Mm. Um, I was talking about in the last video that I'm in a new location. Um, I gotta get my space together because there's boxes everywhere. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> yes, honey, yes. But yes, you guys, what are y'all doing this summer? I'm trying to be at the beach. Uh, like, I don't want to do anything but go to the beach Ugh. this summer. Oh, my God. Yum. <laughs> Yum. Yum. Mm. It's been a while since I cut it. It's been a really long while since I cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. It's so messy, but it's so good. Oh, y'all gotta try this sauce. I'm serious, y'all have got to try this sauce. You gotta try this sauce. And these chopsticks are so slippery; it's hard to hard to get it. Mm. Mm. It has been, it seemed like since June hit, it has been so beautiful. We've been getting such beautiful weather. 
Um, it is starting to get hot. It is definitely starting to get hot. Whew, but I've been enjoying being outside. Ooh, I love when that happens. <laughs> y'all get some seafood Ugh. i hope y'all get some seafood this summer because seafood is definitely a staple in the summer going to the beach uh, uh, uh. excuse me mm. i think it's big uh. excuse me you want to bite of this Oh my God, look at that. I wish y'all could see how good this looks. Like these cameras is not picking it up the way it should. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. There we go. Ooh. Y'all see that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Mmm. That is so good. Mm, mm, mm. I'm not kidding. I like the chopsticks that you get from the Chinese store because they like they're wood, but they have like um, a resistance to it. These are so slippery. with these crab legs now they are so good they are so good how are their legs so good y'all why is crab legs so good if you've never had it it's like now some people don't like crabs some people don't like seafood. Some people think it stinks and it's just a taste. I'm not going to understand that. But it's like, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have the same texture as any other meat that you've had. It's not like chewing chicken. It's not like chewing steak or anything like that. Um... 
is it kind of like a fish yeah it's kind of like i mean it is from sea it is seafood so it is kind of like a fish um I would say if you have fish before, the, the consistency and the texture is kind of like a fish. I don't know what kind of fish though, but it is kind of like a fish. Um, like the texture, not the taste, but the texture. Um, I don't know because I get asked all the time what it tastes like. It's just good. It's just really, really good. Um, it's not a weird slimy texture at all. Um, and I don't know why it's so expensive. I have no idea why seafood is so expensive. But it's very, very delicious. You guys, I am done. <clears throat> I am going to leave the video that I did yesterday. I'm going to leave that behind this. Because I was talking about some really good stuff. So, um, that's pretty much why I don't really have anything to say now. Because I talked my head off yesterday. And I was like, oh my God, the video. I was so upset. But yeah, you guys, if something like that happens to you in your life, you know, you was working hard on something. And Scott told me a story where he was in college and he had just finished his whole like 10 page essay. And the whole thing got deleted. Like, oh my God. Like if I, if that ever happened to me, I would lose it. Like, I would be so upset. But, you know, because you feel like all your hard work has gone to waste. And he could not recover it. Like, he had to he had to get it back. And I wasn't able to recover this, the, the first piece of the video. So, it is what it is. Um, so, stay tuned, you guys. It's still more to come after this. I love you guys so much. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Uh, oh thank you guys so much for all your sweet comments everything um it means so much to me you guys you have no idea how much you guys mean to me um let's have a good summer let's have positive thoughts let's do the right thing let's 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 let's, let's finish this year out strong yes we got a lot of stuff going on yes there's things in the news this that and the third but you can control how you feel you're in full control of how you feel and how you let things affect you. So let's be positive. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. Mwah. Wait, she's going to smell so good. She's so cute. Mm. I remember when she first told me that she was pregnant. Like, I was so excited and happy for her. It went by so fast. I was talking to her and I'm like, girl, that went by so fast. I was like, the fastest nine months ever. I'm excited to see how Kennedy is going to do um, when she meets her sister for the first time. Um, because Kennedy is spoiled rotten. She's spoiled Brian and she's a mama's girl. Um, I'm excited to see how she's going to be. Hmm. Mm. And now Scott saying that he want a baby. I'm like, dude. <laughs> I mean, I know she gives you baby fever. But dude, I just got my body done. But if he mentions it again after we get married, I will I would definitely I would definitely 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 do that for him. 
but I want at least I want to go to at least three countries before I have a baby. I'm gonna travel. That's my goal. I want to travel to three countries before I have a baby. For like 10 days. I want so badly, you guys. And hopefully I can do it this year. I don't know with like this COVID mess going on. I so badly want to just spend time in nature in another country like go to africa and just like go to like a safari or like not just a safari but somewhere where they keep elephants i love elephants and i just want to talk to the elephants and i want to hug them and i want to feed them and just take care of them and watch them the way you know how they live their life and just you know be with the baby elephants and just just hang out with them i want to do that i actually found a place but it's not in africa it's in indonesia i believe it's in asia but the three or four countries that I definitely want to visit before having a baby definitely is is Africa. I have to go to like Nigeria. I have to go to I got to go to the motherland. I have to Mm. Man, that was good. So hopefully we'll be able to travel. And um I don't know. Yo, know, I don't know what's gonna happen with this with everything I just I try not to get nervous and I try not to get scared um but it makes me sad to think that there's a possibility that we may not be able to travel because of like the vaccination like you might have to have a vaccination before you travel that makes me sad um so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, that's not the case. But um, yeah, you guys, that's my. Once this COVID and stuff is over, like my my goal is to like travel and keep traveling, and take you guys with me. Uh, Cause I feel like I'm in like a new stage in my life, where I am ready to experience like. There's one thing to live every day and then, you know, you work every day, you know, you pay your bills and, um, you know, it's the same routine every day, but I want to live you guys. I want to live. I know I'm already alive, but I want to live and experience life, experience more life and, um, you get more experience, excuse me, you get more experience and more wisdom and more knowledge when you step out of your comfort zone <clears throat> and do things that you never thought that you would do. And my what I'm my my plan for 2021 and maybe if I can get like a couple countries in this year, my goal is to just literally take the year 2021 and just travel. Travel, travel, travel nonstop. I want to go to, I want my passport to be filled up with so many different countries. And it just feels so amazing because I'm there. I'm literally there. The only thing that's stopping me is this, this COVID mess. That's it. I'm there. And I remember you guys, I'm going to tell you guys this story really quick. 
And I always talk to you guys about believing in yourself, believing in your dreams, dreams coming true, you know, writing your vision, making it plain, writing down your goals, doing vision boards. I remember when I was about 17, probably 17 or 18, something like that, I think maybe 18, I used to have insomnia and I would just stay up all night and just um, visualize and think about my life and think about what I wanted, what I wanted my life to look like. And um, I remember this, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was watched, I was on the computer looking at different countries waterfalls in different countries looking at asia looking at africa looking at the african safari looking at you know these things and that's actually what makes me happy i love i love animals i love nature and i even love it more now uh i love it even more now um because you get more of an appreciation for for life you know and yeah and just being with like the little baby um lions and just just seeing how other animals live their life and you know what's so amazing to me you guys you know i feel like you know we're supposed to be the small smartest beings on the planet but i don't think that we are we spend so much time you know worrying about things that can be considered irrelevant you know, wasting our time and energy focusing on the negative things of life. And, you know, I think about animals and I look at my cats and I'm thinking like, my cats and, you know, animals, they don't have religion that controls their life. They don't have, you know, family members that control their life. They don't have anything attached to them. They just live. They just do what they do. You know what I mean? They're not worried about you know who what color that one cat is or what color the ele or how big the elephant is or they're not worried about any of that they're not worried about their weight they're not worried about what color they are they're not whether they're not worried about if they're light skin or dark skin they're not worried about their finances because they don't it doesn't because at the end of the day it doesn't matter none of that stuff matters so whatever you're harboring on whatever you are stressed out about i encourage you to let it go let it go release it and move on and really get in tune and really you know get in tune with yourself get in tune with nature get in tune look at animals look at how they do like look at the birds look at how you if you got a dog look at how your dog lives his life that dog is happy that dog don't know nothing that's going on that's negative around it it's happy for the most part and that's how you should be. We should take a book out. We should take a page out of how animals live their life. Because at the end of the day, we are, we're mammals. And we come from the earth. And we're very similar. Like, but we can be so destructive. We have become very destructive and greedy. And um, just so many, so many things that keep us bound. And keep us in negativity and in toxicity. Um so that's what i want you know i want to be around animals i want to uh get back in nature you guys i've been thinking about like my diet what i put in my body and just um so many things i've been really really thinking about a lot of stuff and i want you guys to do the same thing i want you guys to think about what you want out of life Yes, things are going on, bad things happen. I understand that it does. It's 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 called life. It happens. But what can you learn from it? What can you learn from it? And set goals for yourself. Set goals for yourself, decide what you want out of life and and execute it and execute it. So come 2021, um, there's going to be a lot of changes on my channel, a lot. I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be really traveling, you guys, and going to different countries. Um, there's a guy on um, YouTube, his name is Mark, and he goes to like different countries and he eats different foods all from around the world. And that is, that's definitely where I'm trying to kind of like take my channel. Like, and I want to, because guys, I just don't care about, 
like the things that I used to care about, I don't care about it anymore. It's so irrelevant. It doesn't matter. I want peace. I want peace in my life. I don't care about nothing designer. I don't care. Like, I don't. It's just, it just doesn't matter to me. I don't care about having, you know, I, I, I just, because when it's all said and done, when it's all said and done, it really, none of that stuff really truly matters. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. The stuff that we are so hung up on, the stuff that we are so stressed out about, when it's all said and done, it really doesn't matter. And so that's what Scott and I, I talk to him about it all the time. And it's, it's, I'm at the place in my life right now where scrolling through and staying up all night and looking at these different places in, around the world you know it's, it's literally going to happen it's going to happen and it just feels so amazing and just it being on my vision board i remember i had a vision board and one day i'm going to show you guys this vision board but it had like a waterfall in indonesia it had me oh my god oh my god the vision board had me looking at a waterfall i was in like a bikini and this was before I even knew that I was going to get my body. Like, I knew I wanted to get my body done. But this is before. <sighs> wow. But, yeah, it was. Whew, I sneeze. Mm. I've been sneezing a lot, you guys. It's weird. Like, I sneeze. I've been sneezing, like, a lot. A lot more than normal. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Um. But yes, you guys, like, I want you guys to follow your dreams, travel, even if you don't have the money. I didn't have the money. I had the vision. Don't worry about if you have the money or not. Don't worry about where the money is going to come from. Um, don't worry about none of that. Um, I want to travel the world. That's where I'm, my new journey is. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I don't care about fame. I don't care about none of that stuff. I don't care about none of that stuff. And I just, I thank God every day for where I am in my life right now. Um, because I feel like I'm at a place in my life right now where everything that I went through, Everything that I went through that seemed like it was so hard and so challenging and you know I was I couldn't see the the light at the end of the tunnel it led me to <coughs> uh, excuse me it led me to where I am now you guys and now I can say thank you God because you protected me from going down a path that you knew that wasn't going to be good for me. You understand what I'm saying? Thank you God that I went through that. It was a terrible situation that I had to go through. But thank you God that you know now I'm with someone who is amazing. Or thank you God because now I can actually see what my destiny is. I can see what, what, what you have for me. You understand what I'm saying? And that's like I'm just. I, I just really want you guys to understand that I am no different from you. Uh, I know what it's like to feel like, you know, all hope is lost and it's not. And I'm telling you, it's really not. I promise you, I put that on everything I love. It is not the end of the world. It, it is for you to get an awakening. It's for you to get an understanding of what you're supposed to be doing in your life. All hope is not lost. It's not the end of the world. You're in this situation right now, but it does not it is get the understanding of what it's supposed to teach you what is this supposed to teach me okay i got fired what is that supposed to teach me what am i supposed to learn you guys and i love talking about this type of stuff because it just means so much to me it is it is it just i believe it with every ounce of my being that your life can be amazing if you speak it every single day. Speak it every single day. Write it down. Write it down. It, you, some people say, oh, it's in my mind. No. <coughs> Excuse me. No. Write it down. 
write your goals down put it on like you need to see it you need to take it out of your head and put it down on a piece of paper take it out of your head and put it down on a poster board and believe that it's going to come it's just that simple somebody's going to say vision boards and writing it down is other devil i don't know who i don't know what devil you're talking about and i don't know who your god is but come on that's limiting beliefs the Bible says, write the vision, make it plain. If the Bible says, write the vision, make it plain, how is that devil? How is me putting doing a vision board? How is that devil? How is that not of God? How is that? What are you talking about? And this is the stuff that I be talking about, like limiting beliefs, limiting, you know what I'm saying? Being controlled by something that you don't even, you don't even know. Maybe this is why that you can't progress. Maybe this is why you're living paycheck to paycheck. And I'm not coming at nobody. I'm just saying, maybe this is why you're living paycheck to paycheck because you don't even believe that you can have a better life. If you're thinking that, if you're thinking that doing a vision board is of the devil, if you're thinking that writing something down, writing your dreams is of the devil, it, like how can God say that he will give you the desires of your heart but yet but yet you 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 supposed to be living a life of of sadness and depression and 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 and, and financial and you're not fine you're you're broke you're broke busted and disgusted that's not that's not that doesn't make any sense that doesn't make any sense it makes zero sense and that's one of the things that's so frustrating to me about religious people. People that are so religious. It really, really frustrates me. I remember, and I'm getting ready to exit this, but I remember growing up and being in church. And I used to, I asked my mom one day, I was like, mom, like, how come... Like, it just seems like the pastor has a lot of money and this just seems like everybody else doesn't have any money. Like, it just seems like, like, why are we walking? Like, why is it that, you know, the pastor seems like he's the only one that's blessed? Doesn't God love us? And it's like my mom didn't know what to say. I was a little girl asking those questions. Why is that? You know what I mean? Like, and, you know... I don't know. It just, I want you guys to get rid of those limiting beliefs. If you believe that you're going to, you know, it's of the devil, whatever, then just don't do it. But don't get mad when you see other people, you know, living in a, living a life of abundance and being happy. I don't believe that God put me here to suffer. And then when I die, that's when I get the reward. That no. I believe that I am allowed to live the life that I want to live, that I see in my head, my dreams and everything. I, I, I just believe that I can live a, a life of happiness while I'm alive. And everybody's form of happiness is different. Some people don't want a whole bunch of money. Some people don't want to be rich. Some people just want peace. Some people just want to be able to travel and that's where I am. I, I'm going to be traveling and I'm going to take you guys with me. I don't care about none of that stuff. I don't care about lights, camera, action. I don't care about none of that stuff. I just want to, I want to have more wisdom. I want to have more knowledge. I want to, I want to go back to the motherland of where I come from, my ancestors. I want to, 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 to eat what, what they ate. I want to live how they, while I'm there. I want to live how they live. I want to, I want to go to the different tribes i want to i want them to paint my face i want them to give me an outfit i want them to do my hair i want to dance i want to sing i want to get experiences i want to get more information i want more knowledge i want more, i want my life to be more fruitful i want my life to be more abundant with knowledge and understanding you understand what i'm saying everybody don't want to be with we rich everybody don't want a whole bunch of money everybody don't want you know to be famous and I'm talking too much, you guys. I gotta go. My camera's cutting off. But I love y'all so much. We'll continue this conversation tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys.